Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has 15 diesel attack conventional submarine in its service which includes 4 Calvary class or Scorpion class, 7 Sindhugosh or Kilo class and 4 Sishumar or type 209 class of submarines. Under Project 75, two more Calvary class submarines will be commissioned into Indian Navy. In December 2022, the fifth submarine of Scorpion class was handed over to Indian Navy and the sixth and last submarine of this class is undergoing sea trials and it is expected to be commissioned in 2024. There are even reports for follow-on orders of Scorpion class submarine which is a logical step towards boosting the Indian Navy's underwater capability. However, the Indian Navy is also upgrading its Kilo class submarine which are being put through midlife refit life certification process to extend their service life. Indian Navy had signed a contract with Russia to extend the service life of its four Kilo class submarines. The extensive refit was pegged at Rs 5000 crore under project 08773. These upgrades will not only extend the life of the submarines but will also upgrade their combat potential. The first submarine to be sent was INS Sindhu Keshri that will be fitted with club land attack cruise missile. As per latest report, the INS Sindhu Ratna, which is undergoing a protracted refit come life extension upgrade in Russia, is planned to join Indian Navy in February. It is the second of the four Russian Kilo class submarines planned to undergo the modernization upgrade. At the same time, INS Sindhu Kirti, another Russian made submarine which has been docked at Hindustan Shipyards Limited HSL for midlife upgrade. The Ministry of Defense on 13th March 2023 had signed a contract for normal refit of Sindhu Kirti submarine at Hindustan Shipyard Limited Vishakhapatnam at an overall cost of 934 crore rupees. Sindhu Kirti is third kilo class diesel electric submarine. After completion of refit, it will be combat worthy and will join the active submarine fleet of Indian Navy. The project involves more than 20 micro, small and MSMEs and will lead to employment generation of 1000 man days per day for the project duration. This refit has been offloaded to develop alternate repair facility for submarines and is further step towards undertaking medium refit come life certification at HSL. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.